everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a April Hoya haul. So I'm really excited about this one. I've been buying lots of Hoyas in the month of April, even though we're only just over halfway through. Hoyas are my favourite genus of plant, so let's get into it. First off is my new Hoya of Avata. So I have been on the hunt for this one for a long time. I snagged this one from a local plant nursery. This is my favourite nursery to go where I live. This one was $45. It even has a little peduncle, which I'm very excited about. It is too late to have a bloom anytime soon, but hopefully in the coming spring and summer, I will see a bloom, fingers crossed. This Hoya originated from India, Thailand, uh, the Philippines, Indonesia, and this one is like most other Hoyas found climbing up trees and along their limbs as they are very epiphytic. So I do have this one on my bootleg trellis. This is just made out of a coat hanger, which I think will serve the purpose quite well. This Hoya has beautiful flowers so hopefully fingers crossed that I can see them in real life they are a white flower with a dark pink or hot pink uh, middle which will be absolutely gorgeous seeing these in the wild would just be incredible I think I'm very excited to have this one in my collection um, I do have this one in my Hoya mix that I use for all my Hoyas it's uh, mainly orchid bark, some potting mix, perlite and horticultural charcoal. So this light area mixture, just make sure that the roots can breathe. As well as the fact that I ensure that the soil is bone dry all the way through before I give these guys a good soaking. So that same mix is pretty much the mix that I do use for the other Hoyas that are in this haul. So the next Hoya that I have is my Hoya Billow Barter. So this guy is a cute little Hoya. He's got tiny little leaves that are a little bit um, fuzzy almost. They just have like a nice little texture and they are a beautiful lime green. So these ones do get sun stressed. So I do have it sitting right in the window. So hopefully I can get more of the red sun stress that they do get. So when I was looking for information on this one, I did find that this one was found in the Philippines. But what was interesting is that lots of places are interchangeably using the name Hoya Bilobata and Hoya Bertoniae. So I am 100% sure that this is the Hoya Bilobata as I could find information of when it was first described and it was this one. Although the flower on this one and the Hoya Bertonia are very similar. So I do believe that they are closely related and that's why people sort of get them a bit confused. So this one is still in the mix that it came in, but this is a very similar mix to what I would use. It's got bark and some perlite in it so I think that I will just leave it in this um, nursery pot and this mixture until it needs to be repotted I don't think that there's any reason to change up that this one apparently is a very slow grower so most likely if I can find another Hoya Billow Barter I will probably get it and pop it into this same pot with it just to make it look a bit more full so Yep, this is my Hoya Billow Barter. Very cute. Moving on. Like I was saying, this is the Hoya Bertonia. This one, once you see them side by side, it is very easy to tell them apart. So this one has a more elongated leaf, um, a slightly different texture, and this one is a darker green. So this one, like the Billow Barter, does get the sun stressed leaves so I do have this one sitting right in a window so hopefully I can achieve that sun stress look but unlike most other Hoyas they get the red 
This one gets uh, almost yellow, yellow watercolour look. So hopefully I can make a few of my leaves look like that just because it would be so beautiful to make it look like that. It already is beautiful, but I think it would just add a little bit more character to my Bertonier. So the flowers for this one are very similar to the Billobarda. So I think that they are closely related and of course they are from the same country. They both originated in the Philippines. So that might be a reason why people get confused because the flowers look similar. Um, yeah, so this one I got off Hoya Store Australia. This one was $7, which I was so excited about because Hoya Store Australia is so popular and they hardly ever have Hoyas in stock that I'm after that are more on the rare or not rare, uncommon side or harder to find. So it was very exciting to find this one for such a good price. If I do see it up there again, I probably will get another one just to make this pot more full because this one is a slower growing one as well, which I will find out, although we are going into winter, so I do expect my plants to, you know, go start growing slower and I'm not expecting them to put out as much growth or if any growth even though our winter here doesn't get that cold it's just cool at the moment but it won't you know get below 10 degrees usually except for a few days so hopefully my plants do well this winter fingers crossed so the next Hoya I have here is the Hoya Campora for Camphorifolia the Hoya Camphorifolia so this one I have read is a fast grower which I will soon find out I'm sure with these long stems that mine has um I bought this one from Bunnings as well this one was only $9.98 so that was a very good find and this one is such a healthy Hoya so I was very pleased to find this at my local store. This one is another that gets the sun stressed leaves. So I do have this one sitting in a window hanging and it hopefully will get the nice ready tinges on the outside. Fingers crossed if I can, if it is getting enough sun, which I think it should. I'll just give it, you know, a few weeks and we'll see how it goes. This one I did pot up it is in my Hoya mix of the bark perlite charcoal and a bit of potting mix so and it is in a terracotta pot so I think this one will definitely not be getting over watered that's for sure and the roots will be kept nice and airy so with this one I do wait till the leaves get a bit more flimsy before I water them just to ensure that the soil is truly bone dry in there and that is what works for me in terms of watering my hoyas. And they seem to like that in my other hoyas that I've been doing that for so far. So hopefully this one enjoys it just the same. And hopefully the stems do grow quickly. So that I can chop it off and pop more in there to make this look more full. So I'm very excited for that to happen. This hoya, like... The Billobata and the Bertonier was originated in the Philippines. So they do like a bit of a warmer climate. So where I live is probably perfect for them. Probably a bit further north they would love it more. But mine will be doing fine inside this winter if everything goes to plan. Alrighty. So next up is another Hoya that I bought from Hoya Store Australia. So this one I bought because I loved the thick waxy leaves and the beautiful veining. It does have a few splashes or not splashes but a few speckles of the splashy colour that the Hoyas get. So this one was labelled as Hoya species number three Philippines. I believe the actual number is IML1658 and when I was having a look around I did see that some places were call calling this one the Hoya Viet Cast. So I'm not sure if this has officially been named the Viet Cast or 
if that was a name that some nurseries were using as all around people were using different names for it. So if you do know any information on this one, feel free to leave it down in the comments below or if you have this one, let me know because that would be very exciting to see one that is more full grown as I couldn't find any uh, pictures of flowers. If you do have one that is more full grown than mine, I would love to see pictures of it. Or even if you have one that's flowered, that would be amazing. Um, I couldn't find any pictures of flowers. The website that I bought it from did say it has white flowers, but I couldn't find any photos. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have seen flowers of this one or yours has flowered because that would be so exciting and I would love to see that. This one does have thick waxy leaves. So I do just wait until the soil, like my obovada, gets bone dry before I water. This is in my same mixture that I said that I use for all my other Hoyas and hopefully it likes it as much as all my others do. I did get this one from Hoya Store Australia and it was $7 so I thought that that was an amazing find for this little cutie. And lucky last we have my Hoya Australis Lisa. So this one has been on my wish list for such a long time. Here in Australia it's very hard to get your hands on this one and for eBay on eBay the auctions go for three hundred or four hundred dollars which is crazy to me because I have heard that this is a fast growing Hoya so fingers crossed that it is and I can't wait for mine to get so much bigger so this was by a nursery that does do a large selection of Hoyas which was exciting and they only released a few so I was lucky enough to snag this one for only $100, which is amazing and an amazing price if you ask me compared to what they get auctioned off for. So as soon as I saw this one pop up, I bought it straight away. I do believe that the Tenuipis is the green, the full green leafed version of this one and the Lisa is the one with the variegation. So that does lead me to believe that this one is a cultivar. But if you guys know any more information about that, feel free to leave it down below. So this one I will treat exactly as I do with my Hoya Australis. I just wait till the leaves get a little bit wrinkled on the underside before I fully soak through the water. This one is again in that really airy mix so the roots can breathe, which I find very easy to work with because I'm comfortable with it and I've always used that mix for my Hoyas. So this one, the new growth comes out this beautiful pink colouring and then as the leaves mature they become more of this cream in the middle and the lighter to dark green on the outside which I think is stunning. It's just like a watercolour splash yeah, one of my most prized Hoyas, if I can say that really. I love all my Hoyas. Um, alrighty, so that is the last one for this video. Um, if you do have any more information on the Hoyas and you want to leave it down below or you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Make sure you hit the like button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!